Ever wondered how people managed to shave before Gillette came along with their fancy razors? I mean, think about it. How did our hairy ancestors keep their faces looking so dapper without modern day tools? Well, get ready to dive into the hairy world of pre-Gillette shaving history, cause we're about to take you on a wild ride. Imagine this, it's the 1800s and beards are in fashion. But what do you do if you're not blessed with a luscious mane of facial hair? Do you just accept your fate and be the odd one out? No way. People got really creative with their grooming routines back then, using everything from sharpened shells to animal teeth to get a smooth shave. I mean, can you imagine using a shark tooth to trim your whiskers? That's some risky business. But you see, it wasn't all about the tools. Different cultures had their own unique shaving rituals, with some even incorporating religious practices into their grooming routines. We're talking about everything from sacrificial offerings to elaborate purification rituals. It makes using a simple razor seem downright boring. Wanna know more? Tag along. So before we look into the tools and methods, we've got to ask ourselves, why did men start shaving their beards? Yes, that's a question. Now, you might be thinking, didn't cavemen have bigger things to worry about than their facial hair? And you'd be right. But believe it or not, the early humans who roamed the earth thousands of years ago did pay attention to their grooming habits, at least when it came to their beards. Well, they obviously needed to find mates, so I guess facial hair did play a huge role. Let's start by taking a closer look at the world they lived in. Back then, life was tough. Cavemen spent their days hunting for food, fending off predators, and trying to survive in a harsh and unforgiving environment. And as you can imagine, having a big bushy beard wasn't exactly ideal for that kind of setting. Think about it, if you're trying to sneak up on a deer or bison to catch your dinner, having a massive beard that could get caught on branches or grass wouldn't exactly be helpful. Plus, if you're in a fight with a saber-toothed tiger or some other scary predator, having a beard that could easily be grabbed onto could be serious trouble. You wouldn't want that, right? So it's likely the early cavemen started shaving their beards as a practical matter. But it wasn't just about functionality. There were also cultural and social reasons behind the practice. In many early human societies, having a beard was a sign of masculinity and strength. But there were also taboos around facial hair in some cultures. For example, some Native American tribes believed that shaving the face was a way to show respect for the animals they had hunted and killed. As time went on and human societies evolved, the reason for shaving beards became more complex. In ancient Egypt, for example, shaving was seen as a way to keep cool in the hot desert climate, and many Egyptians, both men and women, used razors made from flint to keep their bodies hair free. And in ancient Greece, shaving was seen as a way to distinguish oneself from barbarians, people from other cultures who were considered less civilized. Of course, not everyone was on board with the trend. Throughout history, there have been plenty of people who preferred to let their beards grow wild and free. In fact, during the Middle Ages, beards became a symbol of authority and wisdom, and many kings and noblemen grew impressive beards to show off their status. But even as beards went in and out of fashion over the centuries, shaving never completely went away. In fact, today, it's more common than ever. Whether you prefer a clean-shaven look or a well-groomed beard, there's no denying that shaving has become an integral part of modern grooming habits for men and some women too. Well, not facial hair for women, alright? Now, let's see when we started shaving. Well, the answer is from the Stone Age itself. You see, our furry friends from the prehistoric era actually used sharpened stones to trim their facial hair. That's right, our cavemen ancestors were not only skilled hunters and gatherers, but they also knew a thing or two about grooming. Now, cavemen didn't have access to fancy razors or electric trimmers. Instead, they relied on sharp stones or shells to get the job done. You can call this the DIY approach to grooming. It's safe to say their shaving routine was a bit rough around the edges, but it did the job. Fast forward to the Bronze Age and things started to get a little more civilized but not so civilized. One of the most common tools used for shaving in the Bronze Era was the flint knife. Yes, you heard that right, a knife made out of flint. These knives were sharp enough to scrape away facial hair and were also used for a variety of other tasks like hunting and butchering. 
It's amazing to think that our ancient ancestors were able to use such a basic tool to keep their facial hair in check. But wait, there's more. Another popular tool for shaving in the Bronze Age was the Bronze Razor. These razors were typically made by casting bronze into a mould and then sharpening the edges. They were more sophisticated than flint knives and allowed for a smoother shave. However, they were also quite expensive and not everyone could afford them. Now, you might be thinking that shaving with a flint knife or blonde razor must have been a painful and bloody affair. And while it's true that there were definitely more risks involved, our ancient ancestors were actually quite skilled at using these tools. In fact, some historians believe they may have even used some kind of lubricants like oil or animal fat to make the process more comfortable. As the years went on, the art of shaving continued to evolve. In ancient Egypt, people actually used a razor, but not just any razor. These people used crafted bronze razors that were incredibly sharp and precise. These razors were made by skilled craftsmen who knew just how to shape and sharpen the metal to create the perfect tool for shaving. Imagine the skill and care that went into making each and every one of these razors. But the Egyptians didn't just rely on razors to keep their beards in check. They also used something called a sickle blade, which was essentially a small curved blade that could be used to trim and shape the beard. This was a tool that required a bit more skill and finesse to use properly, but the Egyptians were masters at it. Now, let's take a look at some of the other tools that were used during the shaving process. Now, the Egyptians had a variety of oils and creams that they used to soften the hair and make it easier to shave, like castor oil, almond oil, and even animal fats. Can you imagine slathering some animal fat on your face before shaving? That might not be the most appealing thought, but it did the job for the Egyptians. And if you thought that was strange, just wait until you hear about the delipatory cream that the Egyptians used. This was a concoction made from a mixture of animal bile, ash, and natural oils, and it was used to essentially dissolve the hair on the face. Talk about a harsh chemical peel, but come on man, it worked for them, so who are we to judge? Moving into the Middle Ages, beards became more of a status symbol. Men grew them out long and flowing, often braiding or styling them in elaborate ways. But fear not, shaving enthusiasts, there were still plenty of tools available for those who preferred a clean-shaven look. In fact, the first straight razor was developed during this time period, allowing for a smoother and more precise shave. By the 19th century, shaving had become an art form. Yes, the straight razor had been refined to perfection and shaving creams and oils had been developed to provide a more comfortable experience. It was during this time that the safety razor was invented, making shaving more accessible and less risky for the average person. Now, as we move into the 20th century, we see the introduction of electric razors and disposable blades. Suddenly, shaving was more convenient than ever before. And if you've gone through your dad's old movie cassettes, you'll know that the moustache craze of the 70s and 80s was something the ladies couldn't resist. And finally today, we have access to a wide range of shaving tools and products, from traditional straight razors to high-tech electric trimmers. Well, it's safe to say that the art of shaving has come a long way since those early days of using sharp rocks and shells, but a pretty beautiful one. Anyway, that's it guys, the long history of shaving. Now you know how people kept their facial hair in check before the invention of Gillette razors. Can you imagine having to use clamshells, bronze razors, or even sharpened shark teeth? But seriously, it's fascinating to see how far we've come in terms of grooming tools and techniques. So, what do you guys think? Drop your views in the comments section below, and we'll meet again in another exciting episode. Until then, goodbye.